Welcome back, everybody, to One Shot. Last episode, we got to the Glen. Cluster of mines are blocking the way. There's darn short comedy videos. Hello again, Eterna. It seems I need to help you again. Miko will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need has fallen to the most easily accessible place on your machine. Do you see it? You'll know what to do with it then. You don't see it? The most easily accessible place. Uh, I don't know what that means. Purple? Uh, we'll need that later. It's a symbol. Symbol of our friendship. Sure. Ooh. Yellow. Yellow. Yay. Hello, yellow. These vines appeared mere minutes ago. Really? I've been seeing a lot of them in doorways and stuff. I just assumed it was because this place was abandoned. A sign of distress. Huh? A living being is in need of help, but I cannot trace the source. Uh. Hmm. A little person. Do children reside near here? Pathways blocked by blocks. Eh, eh. Dang it. It's too dangerous to get through. Nico can't sidestep. I can't believe one shot can't sidestep. Also.
vines receded. Do you know what happened? I found this plant person. She was barely holding on. I gave her the sun for now, but she said it was too late for her. I understand. I need to report this to the city. This Nico kid was an idiot and gave the sun away. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm deflecting with humor. <laughs> this game is happy go lucky all the time. Right? Right? Right. Oh, that's computer room again. This way. Staircase. Guess what? Oh. <laughs> uh. there for so long. Oh, uh, are you Alula? You knew my name? Wow, the Messiah really does know everything. Actually, I just met your brother earlier. Oh, right. Gosh, Thomas must be so worried. Can you bring me to him? Wait a minute. How did you know that I was the uh, Messiah? I don't have the sun with me. Your eyes! Huh? They reminded me of the sun! Oh. That's why you're a messiah, right? Well, I... A lot of people back in my home world have eyes like mine. Home world? Yeah. I'm actually from another world, you see. It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in a tower. Do you like this way, too? I... Yeah. Yay! Countess keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But that's okay, you're here now. You make everything better. Yeah. 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 You're just stuck here the whole time. My sanity is fully intact! Yay! stops following you if you get too far away, so I'm just making sure. Hey, can I wait with this little girl? No. You, you can if you give me her ink. I'm not a squid! Blood. I'm not a squid! I don't make ink! You can if we cut you. That's not ink, silly! It's close enough. Completely missed where he was. <laughs> We're going the wrong way. Well, I'll get to find him eventually. Oh, there he is. Thomas! Alula! You okay? Thank goodness. I was trapped inside this room and it was really scary. But then the Messiah saved me. Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah. There was that, that weird stuff in the door. 
You know, the floating squares we see next to the ocean sometimes? The stuff you told me to stay away from? What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't talk yet. I'm not hurt or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this? Square stuff, exactly. Bad. Anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. Whenever you hear people say the world is decaying, that's what they meant. Obviously, you should avoid them too. I will. Anyway, uh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Just call me Nico. Oh gosh, would it not be rude to call you by your name? Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Ah, then would you like to visit our house, Nico? Sure. Yes. Yay! Let's go! Oh shoot, looks like we can't get past that block. Seriously? I'll be up ahead! Um, I have literally never thought of that. Just move it out of the way. You kind of get used to all the debris, uh, debris after living here for a while. Come on, our house isn't far from here. So, uh, welcome to our home. I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. Ah, there it is! Here, we want you to have this! Shiny. Oh, a feather. The edges are going yellow. It's a sacred feather from the Great Prophet. Oh! Yeah! She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see into the future. What? Or something like that. She gave us one of her feathers to one of her feathers to father before she died. Father wanted to pass this down as an heirloom though. Although it felt more fitting for you to have it. Uh, are you sure? Totally sure! I think that's what father would have wanted. Thank you. home again. Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she wanted to feel the sun again before she... Oh, you must be talking about Maze. Is that her name? She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the glen, but once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. Oh. I'm glad you were able to find her in time. I think we might already be too late to save her. I know, but I'm glad she got to see the sun again. Friends! Yeah! Friends! But we weren't friends until we went into their bedroom. <laughs> Don't think about that too hard! A polite boy that leads a quiet life with his younger sister Alula in the ruins outside of town. He often has his hands full looking out for her and tends to worry when she's not around. Calamus spends most of his time fishing and foraging around the ruins and relies on his friend Magpie to trade, to trade for any goods that can't be scavenged. Though they don't have much in the way of luxuries, Calamus has a small collection of books gifted by an old friend that he likes to lift, he likes to study when he gets the chance. Judging by the amount of progress he's made, however, those chances don't come very often. A cheerful, excited little young girl. She lives in the ruins under the care of her older brother, Cal Calamus. Too young to remember much of what the world was like before the sun was lost, Alula is optimistic and thrilled to be helping the Messiah on his special quest. When Alula isn't busy exploring every nook and cranny the ruins has to offer, she can usually be found helping out her big brother or playing around the courtyard near their home. room is full of dust and cobwebs. It's a bed. Well, more like a mattress. It's a bed. 
Oh, one well, with a mattress. It's a jar full of worms. Jars full of beans. More beans! <laughs> Jars full of dried fish. I hope the squares don't spread too fast. There's a clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, just like... Oh, my book! Gosh, I still need to finish studying it. Oh. My friend gave it to me for Solstice Day. He's the one who wrote it, actually. He's also the one who taught me how to read. Oh! There are a few more of his books somewhere. Colds. They're cold now. My heart jars full of dried moss. Yay, moss! <laughs> what are you, moss? I like this. I like the shade. Hey! So you going to the courtyard? So I thought we'd tag along. Same. This is the courtyard. It's got water and stuff. There's an entrance to an underground passage here. It's flooded though. It's clothes! Oh, I should probably take these in soon. Hmm. Looks like he used to lead somewhere. Yeah, the sacred grounds! It's been a while since we went there. We don't have a way of getting there now, remember? There isn't a boat and none of us can swim. And what's the sacred grounds? It's where our people are buried. Sometimes we go there to visit Mom. Well, her grave anyway. Oh. Well, wait, how do you get there? I thought you said there isn't a boat. Oh, our friend helps us. He has some sort of machine that allows him to fly. Sometimes he takes us along. But, like I was about to say, we haven't seen him around for a while. I wonder when he'll come back. I wish I could go see Mom again. Mm -mm. Come on, Alula. Let's go back to the court right now. Okay. It's a ball. That's mine! It doesn't bounce around as much as he used to, though. Anyway, while we don't have the sun in our hands, oh, I see your hands are now free. Would you like to help me herd my rams? There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Yes. Excellent. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by my rams. They're all standing in unfortunate spots. You meet, need to move them onto the darker moss. You get stuck, ring a bell, and they'll all return to their original positions. Good luck. So here's the fun puzzle of the game. You know what? Have fun, Joel. Oh boy. By the way, there's an achievement if you don't ever have to ring a bell. <laughs> yeah, no I've promises. never gotten it. You press the okay, game press X. Uh, well, I guess I have to do that. Uh, you can only push them the way they're facing. Wait, no. Wait, no, you can push them any other way as well, actually.
puzzle master. Oh my god, you actually did it. <laughs> I am the puzzle master. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> No, oh, good <laughs> job, Joel! <laughs> nice job, actually! Pushes up glasses. <laughs> Doesn't have glasses. Well, that's what he's doing. He provided a great service for all of Ramkind. In return, take this fine Ram wool. Oh, uh, thanks. Kinda of useless. Well, I guess it's something to trade then. I think I have something I'd like to trade. You'll take wool, right? What can this wool get me? Wool, huh? That'll get you this fine vial of. I'm not sure what this is actually. Some sort of fabric dye? Hmm, how about it, Eterna? I assume that's the only thing he's offering for it. I don't know. If I say eh, will he really not offer me again? Hey, yeah. Turner, you wanna haggle? Really? Alright then. Turner said they want a better offer. Holy smokes! The guy was doing a trade with God for a second there. Okay, okay. In that case, I'll also throw in this commemorative t shirt. <laughs> Yes! Pleasure <laughs> doing business! <laughs> you got the Switch shirt! Yeah! What do you mean we're playing this on PS5? An easy going merchant, purveyor of fine goods. Fine in this case, mostly meaning colorful and or shiny. Still, it's always a good idea to check what's in stock. You might have just what you've been looking for. The shop operates on barter, however, so we prepared to give up something Magpie deems interesting enough for a trade. Magpie used to have a much more impressive collection until the shop was tragically lost to the sinking grounds, forcing Magpie to flee in the wagon that's now his home. Calamus and Alula are some of Magpie's best customers, finding all sorts of curiosities lost in the ruins. I heard it ribs and all I got with this lousy t-shirt. I ain't taking that back. The shepherd was handing these out a while ago. But does it look like it'll fit me? Huh? T-shirts aren't exactly made for people with wings. Huh. That... Huh. <laughs> I can't combine them. <laughs> you can't! I think you can, Nico. I think it's just not what the developer wants you to do. Anyway, back to the gate. Oh yeah, we can use the feather as a pen. I saw it in a picture book once. I found a pen. Sort of. Indeed you do. But you are you not forgetting something? Uh, oh, the sun! Duh, I... I, I, I probably love that. Oh, there's a bed. Well, we'll grab that later. Oh yeah, time to go. We'll grab the bed later, we'll just pick it up and bring it with us. Did you just put that thing in your inventory? Yeah, what about it? Okay then. Wait, where did this flying weasel cat thing come from? What the? I would do that, you dolt! <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. I've, I've never seen one. I've never seen something like you before. Are you from this world or from a different world? World? <laughs> so, I'm just suddenly. <laughs> Suddenly, Dustin Lizzie Tail one-shot crossover. The greatest, 
Stand aside, Smash Ultimate. This is the greatest crossover of all ten. Now I'm set. It's literally the Spanish word for corn. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I think. If I'm remembering right. A benevolent and powerful plant spirit, acting as a sort of guardian for the glen. The last of her kind, her life's force has slowly d d dwindled in the absence of the sun's light. After all of these cold, hungry years, her only wish is to see the sun once more. And on a sour note like that, see you guys next time. Take care.